What up, YouTube Dog Pound Nation? Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to the Morning Rant. I got a little trade scenario that involves the Cleveland Browns, and I think that just might benefit them. So, let's talk about it. What up, YouTube Dog Pound Nation? Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to the Morning Rant. We're going to talk a little bit about a trade scenario that can help the Cleveland Browns for this upcoming 2023 season. But before we get into all that, as you know, new channel, Browns fan to another. If you're stopping by for the very first time and you want to join the family, you need some Browns therapy, this is the place to come. So please, subscribe, hit that like, and hit that notification bell. So please, subscribe to the channel, hit that like. Hitting that like is most important of anything because it gets my videos out there. It gets more views. So please, hit that like and hit that notification bell. All right, so let's get into this. I got a trade that the Cleveland Browns, you know, can make that will help them for this upcoming season. I think this will put the offense over the top. I think it will benefit Deshaun Watson. I think it's going to, you know, it's going to take quite a bit. But, you know, I think it's well worth it. All right, so let's break this down. And after I break this down, I want to hear your comments down below. And, I want, you know, if you agree with the trade, disagree, or if you have another trade scenario, please leave in the comments down below. Talk about it next video. So DeAndre Hopkins has been linked to the Cleveland Browns this offseason. All right, as we all know, DeAndre Hopkins has played – in Houston with our franchise quarterback, Deshaun Watson. Now, the only thing with Hopkins, he's pushing, you know, he's pushing, I think, 31 years of age. Um, so, that's a little, eh. But here's the thing. You know, you have Brandon Cooks over, I still, you know, in Houston playing um, at a decent level. Um, or you got Hopkins. Now, what way are you going to go with this? Because they've both been linked to the Cleveland Browns. It would be cheaper to get Brandon Cooks, but it would cost a little more to get Hopkins. But I think you'll get a little more out of Hopkins than Cooks. Um, I know Hopkins is not that true burner that will take the top off of defense. And I think Cooks is not really that type of player anymore either. Um, but... If you put a Cooks or a Hopkins on this offense with Amari Cooper, David Njoku, and Chubb, and Bub, you know, et cetera, you, you, it's going to be a, I think, an over to the top offense. Because you got Donovan Peoples Jones, and I think it's just going to get better this offseason. He had pretty much his breakout this past year, um, shy of a thousand, but I still think DPJ is a good player. He could be a number two on a lot of teams. Like, he served as our number two last year. But he would move to a number three, which I think would benefit him a lot. Um, it would just open up so much if you had a DeAndre Hopkins on this team. All right. Now, as we all know that, you know, Chubb, Garrett, all these players are in their prime right now. So, we're in win-now win mode. Um, so, I took a look at the Cardinals, you know, offense. What it would take to get this trade done all right i looked at what they needed on offense i looked at their defense looked to see what where they're you know hurting on defense and it kept coming back as their offensive line now they need desperate help on the offensive line position all right and i know a lot of you might not want to hear this but i think trading a wyatt teller to the cardinals would get this done I firm believer in that. I think you trade Teller in a day three pick, maybe, would definitely get this trade done. Now, is it worth it? I believe it will be because you can plug in another guard that is serviceable and bringing in Hopkins to pair with Amari Cooper, to me, is a no-brainer. He's already got chemistry with Deshaun Watson. Um, they've had a lot of success down in Houston together. Um, so... And plus, I think it would just bring. I think it would help out our franchise quarterback to no end. I think it would bring him more confidence having him here. I think it would just do so much more than bringing in a Brandon Cooks. I'm a firm believer in that. Cooks has battled injuries. He's. I mean, so is Hopkins. But I just feel also that you know I've heard the media say that Hopkins, you know, his better days are behind him. Blah, blah, blah. But, I, you know, here's the thing. He's not going to have to take on that true number one role. 
because you got Amari Cooper here. It's like, you know, it, they're going to help each other. So that, that's a plus. So Hopkins will not have that weight on his shoulders to, you know, take on that full workload. So that's the plus on that. You know, the other thing is, too, is that, you know, you're bringing in Hopkins now. It's showing the team where win now. It's time to win now. And, you know, I just feel that, that that's something that would put this team over. And I think they need to get it done. Because, I mean, what other wide receivers are out there would you be interested in the D-Hop? D-Hop, I, again, I know he's older. I know uh, there's risks behind it. But I just think bringing him in would put this offense over the top. And I think I just think it would just you know it, it'd just be a, a great trade. And I like I said, I know a lot of you might not want to hear it, but Wyatt Teller would get this job done. I think you know Wyatt Teller did not have his elite season that he had the year before. All right, he really didn't. Go check out his grade at PFF. He only graded a seventy point six. All right, and that's not elite by any means. All right, Joel Batonio, I think he had like an eighty eight point two overall grade at his position they play the same position one's left one's right um now 70 i know he was battling injuries this year i get that but still all right i mean we weren't hurting that wasn't the main problem why the offensive line was having a hard time succeeding this past season all right it was the center position all right we had that was a position at center or right, what, Nick Harris went down, I think it's the first series of the season last year, and then Post Posick went down, and then we had to put Forhalt in there. I believe that's how you say his name. Um, and that he was just, it, 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 I mean, the center, you know, that is the most vital um, position on that old line. And we had a third stringer in there, and that was just creating – so much havoc for that offensive line. And, you know, so I think if we stabilize that, having our starter back at O-line, at center on the O-line, I think you can plug in a four-hole at guard or a, a, you know, Hudson. And I think we'll be just fine. So I think trading away, you know, Teller will get this done. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And if you guys have a different trade scenario, let me hear about it. We need a wide receiver. So which receiver do you want to see on the Cleveland Browns? Let me know in the comments down below. Everybody have a great rest of your day. God bless. And you know it. Go Browns!